make this real quick because y'all know I'm sneaking on the phone okay natural hair and self-esteem okay so growing up I had very very low self-esteem and unlike some people I didn't have a very good or close relationship with my mother and my father was always doing his own thing so I didn't have any I didn't have that hey y'all I didn't have that validation um, from my parents and stuff and you know still didn't um, growing up so yeah I grew up with a lot of low self-esteem and because I had that low self-esteem I made a lot of poor choices and bad decisions yeah so my view of beauty is what I saw on the TV and what social media says is beautiful and my idea of beauty was skinny long hair skinny long hair skinny long straight hair so that's what I considered beauty beauty because I didn't have anybody to validate me and say hey you're beautiful you are beautiful you are loved you are gorgeous I didn't have that I didn't have that at all so that was my perception of beauty so of course I fell into the trap so there comes the relaxers so I had relaxers 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 burning my little hair out but I had to have my hair straight I didn't want no curls no naps nowhere nothing hey everybody I can't see um, but yeah I, I went straight to relaxers so after I went I got the relaxers I still wasn't I didn't have that beautiful feeling and then I discovered weaves and braids I would get zillions and I would get them to braid my hair so tight and I would have them to get every single piece of hair I wanted my hairline to look like a design okay I wanted y'all to create hair where there was no hair okay you see what I'm saying lay my edges with them braids I mean pull it till my brains come out <laughs> I wanted braids I wanted everything braided so I wore braids for a long time and even when I noticed that my edges and stuff were now this is coming from somebody who does does hair who knows about hair I still wanted I was I was I was already in that mindset of long hair straight hair equals beauty you know see what I'm saying so I wanted some braids girl do my hair braid it I don't care how many of y'all it could be six of y'all I don't understand nothing y'all saying just braid my hair okay so I was getting them braids for years and years and years and years and I saw my edges and I saw my hairline disappearing and then I went to the wigs and I started getting addicted to the wigs and I'm like wow this is beauty this is beauty I looked in the mirror literally literally you guys I looked in the mirror when I had my braids and my weaves and I said now nah, I'm beautiful this is beauty this hair is beauty so I identified not as Chantel not as evolution of beauty but I identified as that girl with the weave and if I didn't have the weave let me tell you I felt so uncomfortable I was totally in my shell again I didn't get that val validation as a youngster women who have children validate your children your 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 boys your girls give them that validation they need that and it is an integral part of their development into a young man or a young woman okay so fast forward then I discovered social media and I discovered Facebook I went on Facebook and I said hey what is this I keep saying natural natural what is this is this some kind of movement natural hair movement what is this all about so I looked on there and I'm like oh that's cute that's cute but give me my wig <laughs> give me my wig that's real cute cute but I want my wig right now because that is still in my mind beauty give me my wig I said okay but her hair cute mm -hmm, that's cute that's real cute then I started seeing the naturals with the long hair and I'm like hmm so you mean if I go natural my hair will be long Wow, mind you, I'm still in a mindset of beauty equals long hair, straight hair, skinny, okay? So I'm like, hmm, if I go natural, my hair will grow longer. I said, okay. So I decided to transition. That transition, transition lasted for all of a month before I got tired of the two textures. And then I just cut all my hair off. I looked in the mirror and I was like, mm-mm, girl, this is not you. This is not long hair. This is not skinny. This is not beautiful. This is not you. Where's your wig? Where's your security blanket? You are naked. You need some security, girl. Security! Security! You, I needed my security. So I cut my hair off. I was fully relaxer free. I was quote unquote natural, but yet I still needed my security from my hair. Long hair. Straight hair. Skinny. 
Okay, so one day I saw my aunt. She came up here for Thanksgiving. It was it was a it was a Thanksgiving weekend about six years ago, and I haven't seen her in a while. So she came in. We picked her up from the airport, and I looked at her, and I'm like, oh. You are absolutely gorgeous. When she came down, she had a short tapered cut and it was blonde. I can't see nothing y'all saying, but hey, I love y'all. You know I'm sneaking on the phone. My husband is outside. So listen, y'all, listen. Let me get finished. Let me get finished. Listen, church, hold on. So I saw her and I said, oh my God, you look so beautiful. Her hair was cut short. She had a tapered bob and it was blonde and it was curled. And I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. How did you do that to your hair? And I began to ask her all kinds of questions. She said, yeah, I got this. But see, she had a texturizer. See, she was still in that mindset you know straight hair beauty so she had a texturizer I already decided in my mind I'm not putting any more chemicals in my hair but her hair was so beautiful so when I went home that night I said hmm if she can wear her own hair I can wear my own hair so that night I took out took off my wig I washed I conditioned my hair and I did my very first wash and go the next day I got up, I beat my face, I put on my lipstick, I did my eyebrows, and I rocked my wash and go, and I put on my big old bamboo hoop earrings, yes, and I went to dinner, everybody was like, oh my God, you look so beautiful, but first, I looked at the mirror, and that was the changing point, that was when everything clicked, that was when I accepted, hey, you are beautiful. When I looked at myself in the mirror, that is the first time I ever said to myself, you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are deserving, you are a fearless woman of God, you are a wonderful mother, you are a wonderful wife, you deserve the best. That was the first time I ever felt that way when I looked in the mirror and I saw my little short, curly T.W.A. Natural hair and self-esteem, yes, yes. That was a transformation, hence the name Evolution of Beauty because I evolved from that moment on. Okay, it's still a struggle. Sometimes I like, I like how I look, sometimes I don't. That's just a woman thing, you know what I'm saying? But I had been delivered from the social media monster. I was delivered from the world's view of beauty. I had been delivered. Do you hear me? So I can sit here and proudly say, I am a relaxer free natural hair woman. I am beautiful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I love my hair. That's it.